Today's China has emerged as a global superpower, leading the world in many industries, one of these being construction. In the last 10 years alone, China has laid down a network of over 6,000 km of road every year. China has built multiple bridges for rail and road networks at a lightning-fast pace. Building bridges is neither fast nor easy, but China has proven this wrong with the help of some magic machine. It is the aerial building machine the I is it true that China's aerial building machine can build a floor in four days? Why can China's aerial building machine occupy 70% of the world's market of buildings above 300 meters? Hi, everyone. Welcome to Hot Topics Time. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel, which is the encouragement that we can create more videos. Okay, as for today's video, let's take a look at China's aerial building machine. The change of the city always evolves with the height of the floor, and the height of the floor is the label of urban development. How to build taller buildings to accommodate the influx of people, how to build buildings faster to reduce unnecessary cost losses, and how to build safer buildings to avoid the dangers caused by engineering operations? Well, the Chinese aerial building machine is using the strength of building a floor in four days to tell you the answer. The earliest tall building in China was the Shanghai International Hotel, built in 1934, with a height of 83.4 meters at that time. At the same time, the United States built the tallest Empire State Building, with a height of 380 meters. The difference of 300 meters between them is not only the difference in building height, but also the gap in national strength. From 1934 to today, China has written a splendid legend of building construction from no tall buildings in the country to a building machine in the sky. What development and changes have been experienced behind this? What level has China's building technology reached? Okay, follow me to learn more about it. The higher the floor, the stronger the strength of a country. This sentence may be a bit one-sided now, but in the 1980s and 1990s, this sentence was the best portrayal of social development. In 1896, while still under the rule of the Qing dynasty, Li Hongzhang, then a cabinet minister, visited the United States and was curious about the 20 story buildings in the United States, and even made a joke. At that time, there was already an elevator in the American building, which was completely unfamiliar to Li Hongzhang, who had never seen an elevator. He said bluntly, Why is this house so small? It doesn't even have a stool. Surprisingly, Li Hongzhang, a minister in the cabinet of the Qing dynasty, never even saw the elevator. In fact, the Qing government, which has been weak for a long time, not only has no elevators, but also does not even have a building. Later, in an interview with the New York Times, Li Hongzheng said, the Qing dynasty could not afford to build such a high house. Even if it were built, it would not be able to shelter from the wind and rain, and would be blown down by a gust of wind. This is just a story about tall buildings, but it reflects the huge gap between China and developed countries at that time. So what should China do to catch up? Backwardness is a powerful driving force for the country's progress. In order to improve the country's development dilemma, China has implemented reforms in opening up, and more and more developed countries have come to China to invest and build factories. China has gradually become the world's factory, and Made in China has become China's new business card. The rapid development has brought about high-rise buildings in China, which have sprung up all over the country. In the past, China was eager for high-rise buildings. Later, in order to build higher and better buildings, China developed core technologies. Through the accumulated experience and advantages, Chinese building machines came into being. They were not only used in 300-meter buildings, but also extended assistance to the world to help 70% of the world's tall buildings. Therefore, China's aerial building machine has been highly recognized internationally. Then, can China become a power in the construction field?
The Aerial Building Machine is an intelligent construction platform, similar to a mobile building factory, which realizes the industrialized intelligent construction of mechanical operation, artificial intelligence control, and cast-in-place reinforced concrete of high-rise buildings. The most obvious feature is that all the building processes are completed in the air in a centralized, layer-by-layer -layer manner. That's why it's called a building builder in the sky. Moreover, it will not be easily affected by the airflow at high altitude and other natural environments. The lift of the building's roof is more than 4,000 tons, and it can operate stably even under the influence of strong winds of level 8. In fact, building a floor in four days is not a media exaggeration but a fact that is happening. Not only that, the aerial building machine also greatly reduces the number of construction workers and effectively improves the safety of high-rise construction. It used to take thousands of people to build a floor, but now 50 people can easily do it. Besides, the design of the building machine is very user-friendly. The outer side of the building machine in rainy days will increase the protection measures to block the rain, and the inner side of the building machine will be sprayed with cold air during the scorching sun operation, which greatly improves the comfort of the construction workers and reduces the impact of the construction environment on the workers and the delay of the project progress. Because the aerial building machines are all mechanical operations, the efficient operation state of all weather construction is easily realized, and the function of noise reduction has been improved and the nighttime construction will not affect the surrounding residents at all. Now, many countries in the world, including developed countries known for their advanced technology, will use China's independently developed aerial building machines as the first choice when they build tall buildings over 300 meters high. The development of science and technology can always make human beings get along with the world more harmoniously. When dangerous jobs no longer have risk factors, when complex jobs become easier, and when difficulties can be solved through scientific means, this is where a country and society truly progress and become stronger. Made in China is very powerful, China's aerial building machines are very powerful, and there are still many places where China is strong, but will China use this to dominate the world? The answer must be no. China prefers win-win cooperation to world domination. Just like China's aerial building machine, going out creates more possibilities for cooperation and maximizes the value of technology. At present, China's aerial building machines have won a large number of large foreign orders to build high-rise buildings for more than 10 countries along the Belt and Road, including Vietnam, Pakistan, Indonesia, etc. The tallest building in Southeast Asia, Indonesia Jakarta Icon Tower, with a tower height of 638 meters, was built by China State Construction Engineering Corporation. Today's China has skyscrapers, highways, bridges, and shipping. China can not only build high-rise buildings that break world records, but also help poor areas such as Africa build infrastructure. I believe that Li Hongzhang, who had seen the prosperity of other countries at that time, would definitely be full of pride when he saw China today. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas with other people. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. Hot Topics Time, time to explore the wisdom behind the news. We will see you in the next video.